If you can hear it, you're already dead. That's what they say about Carrier. So Carrier is a survival horror game. came out in 2000 for the Dreamcast. And as far as I know, this is exclusive to the Dreamcast. I don't think it ever came out on anything else. And, you know, it just makes me happy to hook up the old Dreamcast and play something on it that I never played before. Because it's new to me. It's like I'm playing a new game on this old system. Uh, so I just... It's a game I don't know anything about, other than it's a, it's a survival horror game. Like, it's pretty, um, it seems like a pretty standard survival horror, inspired, like the Resident Evil inspired type of survival horror. Seems like that's what it's like. Um, I don't really know much about it, aside from it's made by Jellico. And I also know that it didn't seem like it reviewed especially well. Um, not, not remembered as a classic, let's say. But we'll make that decision on our own, you know. We'll find we'll fi- we'll find out on our own just how good or how not good Carrier might actually be. So I am going to start up the Dreamcast, and we are going to get going on Carrier. Hope you heard that. Held up the controller to the microphone so you could hear that. The VMU, out of battery, making the beep. Okay. You know, something I mention every now and again when we play a survival horror game is... It's made by Jellico. Is that something you expect, ever since the original Resident Evil, is that you need some sort of powerful sound at the title screen. Like in Resident Evil 1, when you hear the voice say, Resident Evil. Or in Silent Hill 1, you hear like this loud sort of bassy sound when you press start. So what kind of sound are we going to get on Carrier's title screen? Carrier. <laughs> So that is a good start. Don't know much about this game, but that is a good start. Let's see what the options are. Okay. Well, we got sound, stereo. Sure, I like stereo. With volumes, great. If the music is too loud or too quiet, we can adjust that here. Key assign. These are the controls. Pretty simple controls. That's good. Monitor. Hey, how light or dark do you want this to be? Seems like a pretty dark game, so I have adjusted the uh, the color controls in OBS, so hopefully it's more visible. On, off? Sure. Turn on, maybe. Okay, it's options that you can either turn on or off. Subtitles? It's off by default, but they should always be on by default. Especially since, from what I've seen, kind of seems like this game does not have uh, maybe the best audio mixing. So yes, subtitles should definitely be on. Do I want to know how much life the boss has? Pro- yeah, okay, sure, probably. Let's leave that on. Voice. This game actually seems to have both the English and Japanese voice tracks, which is cool. Not every game would have uh, that much storage space. So we're going to go with English. We could check out Japanese at some point, but uh, we'll go with English. Okay. Let's get started with Carrier. Seems to start off with a pretty significant story explanation, so if you're wondering what's going on in this game, we are going to find out right now. By the beginning of the 21st century, the North-South conflict had escalated to military confrontation. The people of the countries of the South, faced with an energy crisis and a food shortage, had developed a deep-seated hatred for the North. And as a result, anti-North terrorist groups began to show up all over the world. In response, the countries of the North joined together to create the Northern Hemisphere Treaty Alliance, NTA. The goal of this organization was to stop the Southern terrorists. In 2023, the NTA completed construction of the Heimdall aircraft carrier. With its stage defense system and connection to the satellite defense system, the Heimdall is like a steel wall, invulnerable to any sort of air-based attack. The first mission for the Heimdall was to attack the base of the Southern Cross terrorist group. This was called the Hurricane Mission. During an attack that lasted only a few days, the base was completely destroyed and the Heimdall was able to head back to its home port in North America. 
However, approximately two days of travel from port, the Heimdall fell silent, failing to respond to any communication from NTA. Concerned about the Heimdall, a Spark investigation team was put together and sent to determine what happened. It's just part of my stuff. Who's in the picture? This? It's my brother. Oh yeah, your brother's on the Heimdall, right? Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. Yeah, thanks. Kunibrook's team should already be on the ship. Yeah, they must have started the investigation already. There it is, 10 o'clock, the Heim. Let it approach carefully. Roger. I don't see anyone on the flight. Why? Why did they shoot us down? Leonard, Lieutenant Manning, am I the only one that made it? Is that... Leonard? Jack? Leonard, are you okay? Hang on. Looks like my leg's no good. Your leg? Don't move it. I'll take care of it. This is Colonel Burke. Spark Team, do you copy? Colonel Burke, Jack. Jack, you're a bit late. Have you finally landed? Colonel, the helicopter was attacked. What? What? So that was the big noise I heard earlier. We weren't attacked when we landed. It must be the work of Southern Cross. We don't know about that. For now, we must begin the investigation. And the other members? Are they okay? I don't know where Lieutenant Manning is. She's disappeared. The pilot Leonard is with me now, but he's badly injured. I see. See if you can find a first aid kit and do what you can for Leonard. When you're done, begin your investigation. Yes, sir. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear that things are not what they seem. Maybe Leonard is safer on the flight deck. Yeah, I'll leave him here. I'll check the ship and bring back any first aid supplies I can find. I'm counting on you. We'll get back to the investigation on this end. Lang should be checking the ship data in the security room. When you're done, catch up with him and see what he's discovered. Then, continue your investigation. Yes, sir, Colonel. Be careful. Wait for me, Leonard. I'll get a first aid kit. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh. I, I, I'm 
I'm sorry, Jack. I'll be right back. Hang on, okay? <laughs> Leonard, what happened? Leonard! Damn, why doesn't it move? What? Who the hell are you? What the hell's going on? Leonard was... by that? Please, work! Leonard, I'm sorry. I wish I could have done something. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh no, we have to shoot the monster man. Shoot him. Is the monster man dead? I think he is. Okay. So, uh, gameplay has begun. Here we are. We are fighting against the work of Southern Cross uh, because the two hemispheres are at war. Leonard has become a casualty. No, actually, Leonard's head is over here. Let's take a look. Leonard. Oh, Leonard. This isn't working. Oh, switch must be broken. We can't go up and look at Leonard's body. All right. Let's explore the area. I guess we don't need to find a first aid kit anymore. Because Leonard's dead. We assume he is. All right. So the game does seem to be Resident Evil style. Got us. Got a as like a a camera that doesn't move. It just you have still. It's not still images. It's all real time. I think, but uh, the camera doesn't seem to move. And we have tank controls. So it's it's you know, it's your standard traditional survival horror game. And even though we're on an aircraft carrier, I don't think that's why it's called carrier. I think that. It's, it, I mean, it's, maybe it's a double meaning, but also the people are carrying something that's turning them into monsters. I also liked how the subtitles previously overlapped the, um, the name of the location we were in. That is, that's the sign of quality. All right, let's take a look at our subscreen. In our equipment, we got the 19 o'clock. That's the name of our gun, I guess? Can we look at it? 9mm automatic pistol with a 15 round magazine manufactured by e &H. Well, it's not. It's, we got the 19 o'clock. We got the welder. It emits high, high energy bursts of electrons. Use is unlimited. Those are the only two things we have. Use, we have the pistol magazine. You're right. Level one energy drink. Mild healing drink. So this game does have health drinks. Uh, nothing to look at. Data? What's the data? The binder? Nothing in the binder. Memo? Nothing. Disc? Nothing. Map? That's the map. Well, it tells us which, which deck we're on anyway. 
Okay, we can see like a bit more of the map from there. Uh, okay, so that seems to be what we have. And this game, as you can tell, is full of atmosphere right off the bat. Right, we can look at these signs. Medical that way, port side elevator that way. All right, let's go to medical. So the helicopter was shot down. For unknown reasons, I guess the, uh, the priority here would be to find the woman that was with us on the helicopter. It's locked. A3 lock written above the key slot. Was there anyone else on the helicopter? There was her, there was Leonard. Forget it, I don't, that might have been the only three people on there. Medical's that way. Okay, so the medical's behind the locked door. I guess we're heading to the security room. Oh, what's this down here? Uh, don't, th doesn't seem like I'm interacting, interacting with what's on the floor, so maybe that's nothing. That's locked. Can't go in there. What? What's, uh, what's this one? Okay, this one's open. Oh, hey, we found someone. Who is it? It's me, Lang. Jack? I heard from the Colonel that you were shot down by the intercept system. I never thought I'd become the target of my own team. It's hard to believe. I'm checking the system, but it only seems to get worse. At this rate, the whole ship will be affected. By the way, what happened to Lieutenant Manning? Did the lieutenant bite it or what? We were separated. I don't know what happened. As for the helicopter pilot, he was attacked by some sort of monster. He's dead. Monster? What do you mean? Huh? You didn't see them? The monsters that look like humans? No, I haven't seen anything. At least not on my way here. The intercept system's gone haywire. Something very strange is happening here. And if we don't figure out what's going on soon... Anyway, the Colonel's on Deck 3. Dr. Noble should be on his way to the lower decks, but I haven't heard from him. For now, we need to join the Colonel. Yes, sir. I'm trying to open the partition to Deck 2, but I need two more activation disks. There are two more disks like this one on Deck 1 somewhere. Jack, see if you can find them. Meanwhile, I'll see what I can find around here. Yes, sir. There should be an ID card in the medical room in this area. Here, take this. You should stock up on medicines in case of an emergency. Yes, sir. All right, got to find two, di two disks for this guy. Anything else to say? This computer's running wild. It won't tell me anything about the ship. The security lock is complicated. What a pain. You better bring those disks soon. There's not much time. Uh oh, the computer's running wild, so that, that, that does mean that we have to get the security disk soon because who knows what'll happen if we don't get that? I don't know what that means, but we got a DV tape. Got to find a player somewhere. Uh, okay, we got an ID card. Anything over here? What we got? Panel to record the status of the investigation. Sure, let's save. Let's do that. Yes, make a save file. I will save. Do I want to save? Yes. Data saved. Okay, we're Jack Ingalls, or was that Jack Inglis? Could have been one of those. I, I want to take a look at the VMU. Okay, so I'm looking at the VMU right now. Sometimes, like, it shows an image or some gameplay element. Right now, the VMU for this game is showing, um, I guess our health. I guess that's what I'm looking at. It's got, like, a heartbeat monitor, which I'm going to guess is going to change as I get hurt. So if I want to know what my health is, I guess I can just look down at it. He's already gone. Anyone here who's not already gone? Nameplate says Steve Benson. He's already gone. Take a bomb to get this open. We don't have one of those. Ah! dude behind that. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about that right now. We do have the key. So let's see. Which one was this? This one was A1. So I guess the other one was A3. I'm 
must be this one. A3, there we go. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Just did that automatically. Well, that's good, so I don't have to hold on to things that I don't need. It'll just tell me, nope, don't need that. Just get rid of it. Medical room. This is, this is what happens in the medical room. Some freaky stuff. What happened? What's going on? Hey, are you okay? Stop! Don't get any closer! Who are you? Are you infected too? I'm Sergeant Ingalls. I'm part of the Spark team sent to investigate the ship. What are you doing here? Spark? You're a little too late. This is not a human anymore. Here, take a look with this. What is it? Got the Ben Ten the Ben Ten scope. It's developed by the Nita for infantry in case of biological warfare. It's a good thing that we got some bio warfare right now. It needs to be identify non-humans. See in the dark, see through some objects. All right, let's identify a non-human. Danger. This person is dangerous. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Don't you believe what you see? I am Terry, <laughs> the ship doctor. <laughs> I was finally able to capture one of these, these things alive and conduct some experiments, but the ship is already full of them. What? I tried to analyze this one, but it's too late. There is nothing I can do. Ark is the cause of everything. Hey, what are you doing? It, it is all because of Ark. Ark? This monster looks like a human, but, but it's not. It's an inferior life form. Hey, stop! Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm <laughs> perfectly sane. And you? <laughs> Are you really a human? You're not. <laughs> Ark! Oh no, Terry! <laughs> What are you talking about? What's Ark? Look around you. <laughs> you have arrived in hell. I I can't trust anyone anymore. Soon, soon, you too will feel the hopelessness. <laughs> oh no, it's fighting time. Oh man, the voice actor for Terry was having a good time with this. Oh, I see still going. It's 19 o'clock. Okay, got A1 ID card. I hope we get many more scenes with Terry. Uh, what's this over here? Got record of research. By Terry. Okay, what does he have to say? Captain McGregor called a meeting to discuss the parasitic outbreak on the ship caused by an explosion in the engine room. The development department has suggested that the parasite may in fact be the ancient organism Ark. I had made several attempts to cure the victims of the parasite, but regardless of what I do, the patients have expired. My efforts have changed from curing the patients to trying to understand what has happened to them. The results of my research are as follows. April 5, looking first at a subject whose skin had turned green, I discovered a yet unknown virus. Perhaps this virus is also the cause of the patient's violent behavior. April 6, a member of the crew who came to my office became violent and attacked me without warning. I had to shoot him. After an examination of the body, I discovered he was also infected. In this case, there were no visible signs of infection. What am I to do? If I can't tell the difference, I won't be able to trust anyone. April 7. I have acquired the new Ben 10 scope. With it, I can tell the difference between those who are infected and those who are not. Next, I will capture one and dissect it alive. 
<laughs> oh, monst- no, carrots! Evil carrots, hold on. Should I fight the carrots? Oh, they're grabbing me. Should I shoot them? Or should I just run away? Let's see, can I target the carrots? I don't know if I'm targeting the carrots. Let me just- I'll just leave. I'll just leave the room. Like, it seemed like I was automatically targeting the mon- the human monster. I don't think I was targeting them. Well, I got the A1 card, right? So that means that other locked door I could now- oh, hold on. Yeah, I get like- yeah, I can target body parts, actually. So, you can- there's individual body damage. I guess I'll go for the heads, if there's- unless there's a reason not to. What? Oh no! No! Don't do that! I think he just teleported right back up when I shot him. Head- there we go. Burst that head. Let's see, my VMU doesn't seem like it's that different. So if my health is going down, I'm not really sure what that's going to look like. Alright, let's get in here. A1 card. Here we go. Oh no. Fungus. What? Everything's covered with plants. <laughs> the observations of Jack Ingalls. So is that going to attack me? Can I shoot it? I'm not... I don't think I can shoot it. Alright, that was... I guess that was fine. Jack! Oh, we got codec conversations. What is your current position? I'm checking the aircraft hangars on deck one. What happened to Leonard? Leonard? Well, he... He was attacked and killed by some creature on the flight deck. What? I couldn't get to him in time. I I'm so sorry. No, there's nothing to apologize about. I was the one who said the flight deck was safe. Colonel. Sorry, this is no time to get emotional. Yes, sir. What happened to the creature that attacked me? It came down and attacked me, so I killed it. Were there any more on the flight deck? The control panel of the elevator was damaged, so I couldn't go up and check. Until I went below, it was just me and Leonard on the flight deck. I don't know where the creature that attacked Leonard came from. Yes, sir. Do you have any idea what's going on? Earlier in the ship's hospital, I saw a human turn into some sort of monster. I don't know. Here on Deck 3, they're all over the place. Something really strange has happened here. Conduct your investigation carefully. You should be ready for anything at all times. Yes, sir. I like the nonsensical small green text that kept appearing on the screen. It was not saying anything comprehensible. Um, all right. Any survivors, let's get him up to the flight deck. So let's go find Terry and tell him he, he should go up. You don't, no, don't need to keep researching, Terry. You, you, you're done. You're done with your research. You can just... You know, getting everyone together so we can rescue them. All right, two doors. One of them's already open. Nope. <laughs> he was just waiting for me. Attacking me with his extendable ribs? Yeah, that seems like what that is. Let me see what my situation here looks like in terms of, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. So that's all the ammo I have at this moment. Oh, my health is only half full. Okay. So I should be careful about how much ammo I use. I don't think I've found any new ammo so far. 
radio room. Did I pick up anything else I should be looking at here? I got the DV tape. Nothing written on the label. I got the Ben 10 scope. We, yeah, I mean, we know what this does. Okay. I suppose if I use, if I have to use the scope, I assume that I'll just know I need to use it, because it doesn't seem... What was that in the foreground? It doesn't seem so far that I can just actively use it. Okay, that's the end of this hallway. Well... Hey, what do you think you're doing? He's dead. I'm too late. Heimdall, why did you attack the Spark helicopter? By order of NTA Central, immediately deactivate the intercept system and stop the ship. Heimdall, respond. Repeat, immediately deactivate the intercept system and stop the ship. This is Sergeant Ingalls from Spark. Spark, you okay? Our helicopter was destroyed during an emergency landing. Hey, what the hell is going on? What's going on? Please respond. NTA Central. Damn! Hey, Heimdall, what's the deal with you shooting down a Spark helicopter? Heimdall, respond, and t you better have a good explanation for these antics, Heimdall. Dead body in the chair. Must have been attacked. I like how he came in here and said, hey, what's going, what are you doing? But he's like, clearly dead. There's blood all over the place. Why did, why did we not see that immediately? Let's save. Might as well save as often as we can. Don't actually know how easily we can die. I mean, I do have a couple of health drinks, but I haven't found any new ones or any new ammo, so should be conservative here. Anything else in here? I'm not seeing... It's not pointing out anything else, so maybe not. There was another door here. Let's try this one. Here's some... Oh, are you an enemy? Who are you? I'm Sergeant Ingalls. I'm part of the Spark team sent by NTA. Man, you were lucky to make it this far. Was the intercept system deactivated? No, it destroyed the helicopter we came in on. It's hopeless. It's impossible to leave. Don't give up. We'll deactivate the system somehow. Do you know where it is? Man, it's in the weapons control room on deck six, but uh, it's gonna be hell to get there. Trust me, we'll get there. Evacuate to the flight deck and wait for help from the command center. Hey, we're counting on you, Sarge. This should come in handy in your mission. Great, that's what I needed. Well, is that the disc I need? It doesn't have a label. Oh, it's map data, okay. Could I have shot him? Well, it's not there now, but when I was when he was walking at me, a uh, target a target appeared on him. Could I have shot him when he was walking at me? I'm curious about that. To deactivate the intercept system, you got to go to the weapons control room on deck six. Hey, man, be careful. I like how sometimes it's clear that there are some roles where they just said, "Hey, programmer, um, s say these lines in a microphone." Don't worry, don't worry. It's just like a couple lines. Hey, thanks for rescuing me. You're gonna need to go to deck six to deactivate the weapon system. Well, it looks like we're heading to the pilot prep room. Oh, you're just, you teleported right there. Okay. All right. Uh, let me take a look at my map. It's not that. There, okay, yeah, map. Here we go. 
So, deck one. Okay, so this is my map data for deck one. What's in data at this point? Nothing in binder, nothing in memo. Okay, this was the one in di- That's uh, the doctor's file. So, oh, okay, that- I didn't actually mean to go through that because uh, I didn't realize that was a door. I'm, I might as well go through the smaller door, because since the bigger one seems important. You know, when that guy was walking at me, I, was, I thought it was odd that he was just walking normally and not just, like, slouching, just, like, shambling. But uh, I wonder if, like, you have. Oh. Hey, what happened? There's something over there. Yeah? Okay. Ah! I don't see anything. Uh-oh. What? The scope? This disease gives them optic ammo. I'll take care of it. You stay in the locker. We did it. Uh, no, is he still coming? You know, he's getting up. I guess it doesn't matter that he's invisible. We have our scope. It's okay. You can come out. You're Jack. Bob's brother. You know Bob? You must be Eddie from Bob's Outfit. You got it. I'm glad you're okay. Was Bob with you? I lost track of him when the mutants came. Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm glad to see you're okay. It's not safe here. You should go to the flight deck. Okay. Be careful, Sergeant. Thanks. Hurry. Yeah. I thought that was going to be his brother. I mean, they have the same hair. But there's not too many uh, identifying characteristics that these characters have. Oh, we got some. Okay, we got some ammo. So can I find things in these boxes? Great. I should be looking for these boxes. All right, we found one survivor who has now gone up to the flight deck. Nothing. Know anything here? Picture of some of the crew. The date is April 9th, 2022. Bob, I hope everyone is okay. I, 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 could ba I barely had any time to see what that was. No, it's not showing it. Not showing it again. Well, I guess it's not a puzzle. Anything else we got here? Rack for machine guns. Of course, they're gone. Won't open. And this one opened. Nothing but a flight suit. Well, I guess we don't need that. Hmm. Carrier mud. Oh, hold on. Yep, oh, both sides. Pincer attack. wonder if it's worthwhile to take the time to, like, actually aim at the heads. They seem like they go down in only a few bullets regardless, and trying to aim at the heads just does take up some time. 
Uh, well, we just left magazine, and now we're going to the catapult crew room where they man the catapults on this carrier. Oh, we got some plants in here. Navigation and flight control both this way. More plants. Wonder, should I be heading in, down the plant hallway like this? Uh-oh. We got... Could that have hurt me? Or was that just... No, I think that's just there to scare me. That is just there to frighten me, I think. Look, I am a hardened spark agent. It'll take more than that to scare me. Here are the guns. No, these are not the guns. Are they the guns? Yeah, these are the batteries. So if anyone tries to approach the carrier, these are still active and ready to shoot them down. So we do have to deactivate them. Death charges, I guess. Oh, is that a ladder? Can we climb that ladder? We can climb the ladder. Very slowly. Just very slowly climbing that ladder. It took him five minutes to climb this ladder. That leads us to a second ladder. Climb that ladder. Very care be careful. Be very careful climbing that ladder. All right, so we're on another deck now. What does the uh, what does the subscreen have to say about that? I guess it still counts as the top deck. Jack, do you copy? Jack! Sir, this is Jack. Give me a report of your current situation. Sir, I'm on my way to the bridge. The partition for the corridor to deck two is closed. Captain Lang is in the security room trying to open it. And I'm looking for the necessary discs. I heard. Roger. All right, we can use bombs to clear our way if needed. What does it mean that the computer is running wild? They said it twice now. And I'm not sure what they're trying to convey by saying that. No. Oh. The oh. windshield wipers? I mean, I don't I guess it would make sense. I actually don't know if aircraft carriers have windshield wipers. That's something I don't know. It looks silly, but I guess it could make sense for them to have that. Here's a guy. Hey, you! Are you... human? Yeah, I'm Sergeant Ingalls from the Spark Team. You're safe. There's nothing to accomplish here. There's nothing to do but abandon ship. Calm down. Evacuate to the flight deck. Help is on its way. If you don't leave, they'll kill you! All right, we found another survivor. He didn't have anything for us, but at least we found we got we got someone, right? I mean, we're doing things. Automatic pilot controls not responding. Still raining. Doesn't look like it's going to stop soon. Let's see anything around for us to find. Visibility good. Radar still operating. I don't think I don't know if we need that. Oh, dead body. Oh, there's a disc right there. Hold on. What about the dead body? The body of a crew member. Looks like he's been shot. Captain's chair. Can we sit in it? I mean, probably not, but... No. Looks like that uh, we are not going to sit in the captain's chair. We totally should. 
Ship's log. Oh, no, this is not one of the discs we're looking to find. This is just a file. 2023 April by James McGregor. April 1st. The hurricane mission was a success. We're now headed back to port. The NF 36s performance was much better than I expected. April the 2nd. I've received a coded transmission from headquarters. We are requested to take on board the ancient organism Ark found on island NC-0023. The reasons for this request are unknown. April 3rd. Ark taken on board at NC-0023. Course plotted for the port town of Newhouse. Not to endanger the environment, transport of Ark was requested. April 4th, there was an explosion in the engine room and sections were damaged. We have heard from the information department that there may be a Southern Cross spy on board, but we do not know if the spy is responsible for the explosion. Fortunately, the damage will not affect our progress. April 5, one of the sailors assigned to the repair of the engine room mutated and suddenly attacked and killed a fellow crew member. An emergency countermeasure meeting is scheduled for tonight. April 6, the number of mutations among the the crew is growing at a terrifying rate. Zoe is damaged. We are no longer able to transmit. I fear it will become impossible to return the ship to its original state. You could, you know, probably a better way of saying that would be it would be impossible to repair the ship. Impossible to return the ship to its original state is an interesting translation. April 7, we have fought the onslaught of the mutants to no avail. I have no idea what else we can do here. All I know is that the mutants cannot be allowed to reach land. (laughs) All right, so they had a hopeless situation. They knew that they couldn't bring the carrier back to land. So what else are they going to do? I'll leave it at sea. These mutants can't get on land. At all costs. Let's see. All right. This is. I have not gone this way. Stay away from me. Calm down. <laughs> I'm part of the Spark Team. Spark Team? Yeah, we're evacuating survivors to the flight deck. All right, I'll go there. Do you know a pilot named Bob Ingalls? Bob? He's my brother. I think I've heard the name somewhere, but... Hmm. You know, maybe if you check the crew list using the terminal here, you'll find something. I see. I'll check it later. Do you know where the weapon storage is? Well, from here, you go back into the ship and go straight. It's beyond partition C. To get in, you'll need an ID card. Here, take mine. Thanks. Thanks. All right, A2 ID card obtained. That's some, there's some good voice acting right there. What are you doing? Evacuate, quickly! I'll leave after taking one last look around. Don't worry about me. Well, as long as you... You're not even really looking around. You're just looking at me. Of course, the Heimdall's been plotted on the operation board. It was headed to Los Angeles. It's still going to North America, though. It's still heading there. We have to stop it before that happens. Listen to the crew. Yeah, let me check for Robert Ingalls. Okay, deck three, room 303. Would he still be in his room? That seems unlikely. Bob, I hope you're okay. What's in the chair? Level two energy drink. Not just a level one, but level two. That's when you need some serious energy. Can't use the transmitter. Still raining. So, uh, you going? Are, are you going? What are you doing? Evacuate, quickly! I'll leave after taking one last look around. Don't worry about me. You're not even, you're not really looking around. Can I use the thing? Like this, this thing? I don't, does, I don't think we can active, can we actively like use it? It's like, is it mapped to a button? It is mapped to a button. All right, no, he's safe. He is safe. (laughs) 
I wonder if this can... T I mean, we know that um, it can see invisible enemies, but I wonder if this can tell me anything else in particular. Everyone else just ran out to go to the meeting point. That guy just staying there saying, I'll, I'll, I'm taking a look around. Don't worry. At least not... All right, I guess. Sure. Um, let's see. I guess I'm just going back down now. Take the... Get... Get... A, get... A, get around. There we go. But I did get that ID key. So that is one thing that I got from going up here. Anything over here? No. All right. Any, was there anything else around here? Doesn't seem like there's anything there. What about over to the right? Uh, no, okay. Passageway down here, it looks like. Okay, it doesn't lead anywhere. Never mind. Oh, there are there those guys now enemies. I mean, they're not doing a whole lot. Where is I going? I think I was going this way. Hmm? Wait, oh! Invisible enemy. Hold on. There we go. Alright. Just ran into that guy. Son, it's going to kill me. Oh no, what are we going to do? Okay. That one's danger. Our bo maybe both of them could be danger. That one's safe. All right, so it is the guy who was yelling who is in da who's dangered. Oh no, he's like a green man now. Or maybe that's just his blood. Oh, it's a good thing you're able to figure it out. How you doing? I'm Alan. I'm Sergeant Ingalls from Spark. I'm asking all survivors to go to the flight deck. You should go there too. The flight deck? <laughs> there are no safe places left on this here ship. Well, you must have noticed by now the whole ship is screwed up, son. It's impossible to tell who's on our side and who is not. I just did that, you though. You can't trust anyone but yourself. I literally just did that. That means you too. Thanks. But I'll make my own decisions. That's how you want it. Good luck. I've got work to do. Be careful. You too. Here, you better take this. By the way, son, thanks for saving my butt. Thanks. It's the cherry flavor. That's the best kind. A lot of the voice, a lot of the voice acting of the minor characters is very fast. Thanks for saving me. I'm Alan. There's no trust in anyone. You gotta just save your own butt. Why are they talking so fast? Activation disc. This is one of the discs we needed. The system is down. It cannot be used. Let me take a look at that. Okay. We got the second activation disc. We need to find the first one. But we do have this A2 card, so we can unlock that. Um, let's look at our map. There are some areas that we have not been in. They're not filled in with blue. 
cyan, teal, something like that. I guess that is where we're going to be heading. But maybe for right now, we'll take a little bit of a break. Come back in a few minutes as uh, my heart rate goes uh, goes down. Can to calm it down from the tension, the fear we've been experiencing here in Carrier? Be back in a few minutes. Okay, so we're in the security room. I think we're going to leave the room, turn left, and go straight and see if we can go through whatever that door is. Doesn't seem like we've been there yet. So turn left and just go straight. I love the dramatic camera angles in this. Just the total abrupt, quick camera angle changes. All right, where are we now? So gotta, gotta still keep going this way. What? Oh, ah, that's right. Invisible enemies. I'm forgetting. And I guess the enemies come back. They don't stay dead, I suppose. All right, let me check again. All right, um, I could go right or I could go straight to see what room that is. What's to my right? Just looks like a straight hallway with nothing at the end of it, but gotta be something down here. Oh no, carrots! Does this guy have anything on him? Did that activate an invisible enemy coming in here? I guess. Oh, wait, I can shoot the carrot, I think. Mm. There we go. There we go. Was there any other what used to what used to be one of the crew members? Was is there nothing else? Was well, this just a trap? To get attacked? I guess. I don't see anything else here. Alright. No reason to come down here. Oh, hello. Got re oh. Wow, he just knocked me way over. Oh, I'm hurt. Hold on. Let me let me swig a health drink. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough health. Oh man, look how much look at the impact when this guy gets me. Is he done? Yeah, he's melting. He's taking a lot of damage getting hit by that guy. Got to be a bit more cautious. Good. Able to get in here. What we got? Magazine. We're in the magazine room. Well, that's a save point. Let's first see what we got in here. Okay, great! I was saying that I wasn't finding in much in the way of ammo or anything. Got a bomb in case we need to blow something up. Haven't seen any... Uh, didn't really see anything in the way that I needed to blow up. Though, when we were talking with the colonel... No, nothing else? Okay. Our character, John, did mention that there was something in the way somewhere. Oh, more magazines. Do I need to look in each of these individually? guess so. Do I need to look at each of these individually? I mean, it's not zooming in on them, so it's actually kind of hard to see. Alright, I think that's everything. Alright, we got some stuff in here. Let's save. I guess I should rotate my saves. Ah. 
All right, go back to the map. All right, so we want to make a right, and then after we go out that room, hang a left to get to a door that we have not gone through before. Oh, actually, hold on. That's is that going down here? Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Here's someone here. Nope. Okay, yeah, make the right here in this one. Yeah, invisible dudes. I like how you hurt them, they turn visible as if the, I don't know, their opticama was something they have to put forth effort to do. And then when you shoot them a bunch, they can't hold they can't maintain it anymore. Yeah, these are the ones I already opened. Alright, so then once we get here. So now we're going to want to turn to our left and just go straight, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're, do I, I guess I should scan you. Be safe. Why are you still here, by the way? the intercept system. You got to go to the weapons control room on deck six. Hey, man, be careful. I guess he's just here to remind us of what we need to do. Oh, we can't go through that. Which is why I haven't gone through it before. All right, so there's no other, there's no other door that can lead to that. All right, so let's go back the way we came. and weaving. All right, so now... Okay, there, so this is a room right next to us is somewhere we haven't been. We've not gone in here. <laughs> Stop! I'll kill you. Every one of you. Calm down. You're losing it. What? I'm okay. I... Uh... Friends. Mutants. I killed them all. You killed your friends? You can't tell whether or not they're mutant unless you shoot them first. What? But he was human. I killed my best buddy. It's okay. You're in an incredibly stressful situation. Oh, I don't need your pity. My hands are covered with blood. Oh, I don't care what happens. Just, just leave me alone. Don't be stupid. You have to think only about living. Regardless, you have to go to the flight deck and wait for help to come. If I feel like it, you... Why don't you just go and leave me alone? What is this, this voice acting that he's going for here? I can't f quite figure out what the inspiration is to do this man's voice quite like this. <laughs> leave me alone! Leave me me alone! Leave me alone! I like how it's getting different camera angles every time I do that. Alright, let's scan him. He's safe. I Good, I didn't want to shoot him. Leave me alone! Because then we couldn't do that.
mission orders, what we got to James McGregor, commander of the Heimdall, from John Rollins, commander, Natis Central. Begin your attack on the Southern Cross base using the F-036 unmanned attack craft on the morning of April 1st. In conjunction, send the Special Forces 1st Division to a point three kilometers west of the Southern Cross Alpha base to begin their attack at 1,500 hours. The 3rd Infantry Division will bring the mission to an end. The Heimdall and the Special Forces 1st Division are then ordered back to North America. Reference to Southern Cross. There are rumors spreading that a country in the South supports the Southern Cross. Weird, right? Not, you wouldn't think a country in the South would support the Southern Cross. With an increase in tension between the North and South, the Southern Cross has become one of the largest anti-North terrorist groups. Reference to North, the North-South problem. Okay, let's learn about the history of this conflict. 2008, at a meeting of the leaders of the developed nations, it was decided that all technical aid and foodstuffs from the North to the South would be restricted in order to preserve the economic stability of the North. So the, entire, the entirety of the aid coming from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere is stopping. We're just cutting it all off now. 2010, as a result of the policies of the North, the food shortage and unemployment problems in the South became more serious. Soon, several anti-North terrorist organizations began to grow. 2013, the G77. Wow, that the G7 really expanded, con consisting of 77 countries in the Southern Hemisphere, criticizes the UN and the countries of the North on economic and moral grounds. Several of the independent terrorist organizations in the South merged to form the Southern Cross. There is a military conflict between the U.S. and Colombia. The U.S. assumes a military posture, and the North-South problem is redefined as the U.S. G-77 crisis. So the U.S. versus all 77 Southern countries. 2018, we're almost at the present day. Despite resistance from the G-77, the U.S. builds a base in Mozambique with the support of the U.N. In response, the Southern Cross instigates several terrorist attacks against the U.S., including an attack on the American embassy in Mozambique. I remember it well. I remember it well. Learning about the history of the global conflict is indeed thrilling. I wonder how much of it will come into play in the actual game that we're playing here. Doesn't seem like I can do anything with that. Fighter plane models. Yeah, that's it. Just fighter plane models. What about this computer? A slot for the DV tape. Yes, what's on this thing? We have a level one emergency. Sound the alarm. During a level one emergency, the emergency locks are all activated. To deactivate the locks, you need a code number. Steve, here, take this memo. The locks can be deactivated with this number. Steve, we are going to shoot the Heimdall. Prepare to evacuate immediately. That's the captain, huh? That's... Quite a choice for that vo for the accent. It's uh. All right, so that number, whatever it is, we need to get it. We need to find that number. Where might we? I guess Steve has it, so we got to find that guy. So let's see. Pilot prep room this way. Okay. So, oh no, we've we've already we need to go the other way actually. Yep, oh, he's still alive. He's still kicking. A little bit too close. Good thing I found more of these. Oh, 
can we go through this? It would take a... Okay, yeah, it did say it would take a bomb, right? It did literally, literally say that earlier. But we can't... We do have an ID card, so we can go through here. I did forget about the description that said it would take a bomb to get through this. Catapult control room. All right, so... We've been in this room before. No, we have not. Oh, invisible. Right, invisible dudes. Activation disc one. We have both discs. Now we can stop the computer from running wild. The flight deck. Anything on the TVs? Check the status of the catapult. Nothing on the screen. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. All right. So let's see. Do I want to... I guess I should... I guess I should use the bomb. Like, it seems like there's no reason else... other for, No reason for me not to use the bomb here, right? Might as well. And then I can get to... Let's see. Maybe... I wonder if it's the security room I'm trying to get to. The room where the guy is who's working on the computer. Because maybe it's on the other side of that gate. That would, make, that would make sense if I finally get the discs and the room is on the other side of this gate, so I need to use the bomb to get to it. That, that would make sense. Let me just... We're so at the enemies before we do that. It looks like everyone's down. That one of one of them melted. The other ones didn't. I wonder if there's a distinction there. One of them's twitching. I wonder if it's still alive. Um, let's see. It's, use is not here. Maybe I equip the bomb. I, do I have 20 bombs? I didn't realize I had that many. Um, all right. Let's equip the bomb. That is not a lot of time. I don't think I took damage. I think it was all, I was already like that. There we go. Yep, th this is the room. All right, we got your discs. Captain, here are the activation discs. Thanks. What a pain. N now, I want to check one more thing. You go ahead. What's the thing you're checking? N now, I want to check one more thing. You go ahead. Mm, people around here like checking things. I might as well check you. Yep, he's safe. So while I'm doing this, I might as well put this... Might as well re-equip myself with the 19 o'clock. 90 bullets, good. I mean, I've been picking up, I guess, a few... Quite a few, uh... Magazines then. Oh, hold on. It looks like the damage has spread. Captain, go. At this rate, the damage will spread even more. What does that mean? What What is the damage that is spreading? Diagram on the ship of the wall. The damage! It's just going all over the place. The damage is running wild.
Uh, more dudes. Oh, right. We did get, like, a name of someone here, right? Yeah. This is the guy. Yeah, this is Steve. He... Uh, okay, so we watched the video, and because we watched the video, now we know this is the guy who got the thing. The orders. Deck 1, emergency lock activation. Ship Captain James McGregor. In order to isolate crew members that have gone insane due to an unknown parasite, I have decided to activate the Deck 1 emergency lock. Deactivation code 5103. Oh no, but also this guy. He's just like, I guess, oh no, there's like, like a bunch of them. They're all getting up. You shouldn't have taken that memo. No! They're all quite mad about me seeing the memo. All right. I guess they're not dangerous. All right. Uh, okay, so we want to get back to that locked door. So probably like the fastest way for me just be just turn around and go down these hallways. Glad that we can just push multiple ones over at once. But I am using too many of these. I'm almost out. Let me just make sure. Not that. Yep, heading, we're heading the right way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I keep mistaking you for an enemy every time you do that. Okay, now we can open this. So much yelling. Okay, well, we got it. Um, hold on. Oh, nope. Please, sir. None of this. None of this now. None of this nonsense. Uh, no, I wanted... There we go. It's this one. 5103. Oh, okay. We can go to another deck. I should probably see if there was anything else in that room, just in case. Who are you? Oh, there's someone Spark here. Spark Team, put down your gun. Spark Team? I, I, a human. Really? Yes, put down your gun. I don't know, you can't trust anyone here. Tell me what happened. Where did the mutants come from? I don't know. They just appeared. 
Hmm. We'll search the ship. For now, go to the flight deck and wait for help. Yeah, be careful, even if it looks like a human take care. Thanks. You get to the flight deck safely. I guess I'm not gonna scan him. He's out of here. Do you think it's just like the same guy who's doing the voice acting for all of these people we're rescuing and it's just like every time he has to put on a different voice and it's like, well, I did like the Scottish voice before. What should I do now? Um, Could you like do like Irish? I guess. Thank you for saving. No, that's not quite right. Um, You just got to make your voice slightly different. Every time. While you're saying basically the same line. It doesn't look like there's anything here. Main passageway. So, okay, I do have a map for this. Portside elevator. Oh no! Eddie, what's going on? <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> that could have made sense if he said it before Eddie fell over. <laughs> Should I. Can I scan him? Okay, it doesn't look like anything. Eddie! How- Eddie, I asked you what's going on! Some people have no manners. There's some boxes in front of this. I wonder if I should use a bomb on that. It's not saying to use a bomb, but maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's look around first. Sure is a big empty room. So boxes you usually push, but nothing's happened in here. So let's give the bomb a try. Yeah, okay, that worked. I like how slow the explosion is for just no particular reason. Now we got plants again. Oh, it's like an eyeball plant. You hate those. Uh, acid from a plant, maybe? Oh, wait. This. Can I open? Oh, no, I can. Okay. Never mind. It's about to say that doesn't seem like it's opening, but no, it did. Hello. Well, these, they're fast. Can I go through here? I can. Thank you for waiting. Jack, what's your current position? Sir, I've just arrived at deck two. Do you have the bombs? Yes, sir. Roger. Oh, got little things here. Uh, that's not what I want. I want, yeah, map. Let's see, that, uh, that, that room I was just in, it's a large room. I should probably see if I can explore that room.
Guess I can't go for further. Oh, some first aid. Two energy drinks. Well, level two energy drink is what I found. I need as many of those as I can. Should I... Can I use a bomb to clear something out of the way here? That might be what I need to do. No, it doesn't look like that did anything. Maybe there's nothing I can do in this room. It's a large room and we see some jets here, but I guess I can't do nothing. Only 45 bullets left. Should check these just in case. Anything? Anything? No. What's, what's this here? Uh, guess there's nothing I can... Nope, I didn't mean to go to the door. Another plant hallway with eyeball spiders. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Okay, I can climb this. What's my map say about this? Alright, looks like this is the last room of the sequence. Doesn't seem like there's another door. But, let's see what we find in here. I guess there is like an open door right there. I guess that doesn't count as a door on the map, since it's open already. It's the same room. Oh. What the hell was that? Whatever it was, it must be big. We had like a close-up of a hand with a butterfly on it. Was that not anything? No, no, it's like right there. I guess it's just, uh, alright, I guess that's just not anything. It was like pretty neat having that in the foreground like that. Oh, do we have a boss it's fight? The doctor. Hey, Terry. Hey, what are you doing? You? I'm activating the elevator. Stay out of the way. I got it. It's too dangerous. Get away from there. Oh no, Terry! I don't know. I don't know if I'm up to it for a boss fight here. Okay, what do we what do you suppose we're doing? You'd think that the bombs are much more powerful than anything else, so maybe we should try to plant a bomb. And if I get up too close it does hurt. Let's see what we can do with this. That didn't hurt as much as I would think it would. What's sticking out there? Hold on, let me maybe let's equip the gun. I'm not getting, like, a targeting thing. 
spider, please. I don't want to aim at you. I want to aim at the th boss. Yeah, there's like a thing that comes out. Like I can aim I can aim at the spiders. Okay, I can aim at the at the actual plant. That did a lot of damage. So I, maybe I just shoot at the tentacles until until the weak spot comes out. That might be what this is. And the gun does do more damage than uh than the bomb does, oddly. We did it for you, Terry. We did it for you. And he activated the elevator for us. We will go to deck four. Do we have a map of this? No, we have no map here. Sounds like a fight. A fight is happening. Maybe. We heard, like, some gunshots. That doesn't mean it was a fight, but... We think a fight is happening, but we won't know until some other time because we're going to save. And I think with the first boss fight done, it is a good time to say goodnight for right now. Oh, I can have four save slots. Not enough space for a fifth. Okay. So, that is our first session with Carrier, a survival horror game for the Dreamcast. I'm not going to say survival horror classic because... I mean, I think that most people have not heard of Carrier. It was never ported to anything else. Can't imagine why. As after what we've seen. Uh, my understanding is that there was actually supposed to be a Carrier 2 for the PlayStation 2, but it was cancelled. Unfortunately, the world will never, will, will never know the potential brilliance of Carrier 2. But we can find out about the brilliance of Carrier 1, which is what we're playing now. We have been playing as Jack Ingalls, looking for our brother. Who knows where our brother is? Um, it's, 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 I guess the plot is just we looking for survivors and telling them to go to the flight deck. And that's what we've been doing. And we've been shooting up some zombies, well, mutant zombies. And we just fought the first boss, which, you know, maybe a little, maybe a little underwhelming of a boss fight. Maybe a little underwhelming. <laughs> Jack Ingalls does seem to have some trouble identifying when people are actually dead. As we saw with Eddie and the radio uh, operator. But overall, um, he certainly has been shooting some mutants and having some, some fun conversations with some wonderfully voice acted characters. I'm so what did we stop the plant boss, but we were not able to stop it from killing Terry. We were able to get the activation discs. So the computer is no longer running wild. Whatever that means, it's not doing it anymore. Um, I guess we're, we're on deck four. We're going to continue going through it. And, uh, that's, there's not a whole lot to say about what we've done so far in carrier. Hopefully I, I don't hopefully I can get a little bit better so I don't need to use as many health drinks because I certainly am running out of them. But that's it for tonight. That's it for tonight's uh, our first session with Carrier. We're, we'll be back for more survival horror goodness as we continue playing through the month of October. Like I said, we went from Silent Hill 2 to Carrier. I think it makes for a nice contrast. Back next time with more Jack Ingalls. <laughs>